Hello everyone, welcome to the Hard Reset channel and today I'm going to show you how to fix make or break not launching, crashing or freezing. So we're going to go through a few steps uh, and the first one I'm going to show you is to verify the files uh, in Steam. So we're going to uh, press on the on our games page and then we're going to go to this uh, manage icon and then we're going to select properties uh, select installed files and press verify integrity of game files so then it's going to go through the verification process and once the process is finished it's going to tell you if some files were fixed or if everything is great so i'm going to wait for the uh, verifying to finish so the files have al almost been verified let's see the results and all of my files have been successfully validated so after that you can launch your game to check if that fixed your issue but if that didn't fix your issue the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change the launch options so we're going to go back to the manage tab and press properties and in general we're gonna go to launch options and then we're going to type in uh, dx11 then just save that and close close the tab and uh, try to launch the game again but if that didn't work uh, you can also try uh, you can also try d d 3d 11 and if that also d doesn't work then uh, try dx 12 so uh, one of those options uh, could help you fix your issue but uh, now we're gonna go to the next step uh, which is to uh, go to the game files so we're going to open up the game files by pressing on this little tab right here of the game we're going to press manage uh, press browse local files and then we're going to find our .exe file of the game so there it is we're going to press uh, our, our right mouse button on it uh, press properties and uh, then go to compatibility and uh, we're going to press run this program as administrator so that might also help running the program as administrator. We're going to pr press apply and then OK to save the settings. And then try to launch the game either through this.exe or through Steam to see if that helps. Uh, and then if that also doesn't help, we're going to try another thing by going to compatibility, pressing run this program in compatibility mode 4. So we're going to tick this little box and just try all of these options. Uh, if one of those options works for you, then great. But if that still doesn't work, uh, we're gonna uh, go uh, to the next step. So the next step will be to uh, allow the game to access the antivirus program or Windows security. So what we're gonna do is go to settings, uh, and then we're gonna go to the, uh, we're gonna go to privacy and security, press Windows security, and then uh, press open Windows security, uh, press virus and threat protection scroll down to ransomware protection and uh, manage ransomware protection so there we're gonna go and press turn this on control folder access we're going to turn this on and then press allow an app through control fol folder access press add an allowed app and browse all apps and then we're gonna find our um, where our game is located in which file so uh, I've uh, found the location of our file we're going to press on the exe and add it to our allowed uh, app list then try to launch the game and see if that works and uh, and now we're going to go to the next step which is uh, allow the game to access the firewall so we're going to go to control panel open up the control panel press system and security uh, then we're going to go to windows defender firewall press allow an app or feature through Windows Firewall, uh, press the change settings button on top, then press allow another app. Uh, so then we're going to press browse, and then we're going to find our uh, folder uh, location again, and add the exe to this option, so to this uh, firewall. And press add, and uh, as you can see my uh, game is already in the list of exceptions. So once uh, the game has been added, try to launch the game and this it might fix your issue. So these are all the tips that I have for right now. So thank you for watching. 
I hope this video helps you and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel.